Hey everybody, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to paint a rifle. So I'll talk about what this rifle is in another video because I think I'm going to do a review on it at some point here just because it's, it's an assembled deal. But uh, we're just going to skip all that for now and get to the painting part, right? So here's what I'm going to do to paint this sucker. I'm going to close the dust cover. I am going to tape off the serial number just in case I need to ever send this in for anything, although... I really doubt. I might not even do that, honestly, now that I think about it. Uh, I'll shove the stock in. I'll take the sling off. I'm going to tape the rear sight. I'm going to tape the front sight because I'm still going to need those. I'm going to tape the lens of the light. Other than that, I'm going to paint the whole light. It's a stream light. It'll hold up just fine. I painted them before. Uh, just tape the lens of the light, and then I'll tape the muzzle device uh, off around, around the muzzle device to protect the barrel and the threads on the muzzle device in case I ever want to swap that out. Other than that, I think I'm just going to let it ride. Um, I'm not really going to worry about it, and we'll see. I got uh, four colors in the garage here, so we'll see how I end up painting it and maybe give it a base coat of a green or a tan and just kind of go from there. I'll probably try to add some striping, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So let's go to the garage. Let's paint the sucker. Okay, so I double-checked the rifle to make sure that I got everything taped off. I taped off the uh, quick attach points here in the back because I wanted to save those, as you can see right there. Uh, taped off the rear sight pretty well. I want to preserve that. I'm going to need that. Uh, taped off the light to make sure that we're going to keep and preserve that. Better check that here to make sure that's all good. Taped off the barrel. Obviously going to need that for obvious reasons. And the front sight. We're going to need that for obvious reasons. Uh, Close the dust cover port. Put a mag in the gun that I've already used for painting previously so that I don't care if that mag gets any more color on it. Everything else I am just going to roll with. Some people like to tape off the charging handle uh, or stuff tape in there and take the charging handle out together. Uh, some people like to tape off the safety. I'm going to leave the serial number. I'm just going to paint right over that. Um, some people like to tape off the trigger and stuff like that. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to paint it as is and we will see where this goes. Okay, so I have four colors in my inventory. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this light green. I'm going to see where that gets it. I'm picking this to start first because I have the most of it. That's why it's getting to start first. And uh, I'm just going to see how that goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one side at a time. So I'll paint this and then I'll come back in about 20 -ish minutes and uh, give it another go. Here we go. Okay, that's one coat done. Like I said, I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes. Okay, just making sure that the dust cover is closed. That's still closed. Tape still looks good. Okay, so now we'll come back and we'll try to do some striping and see how that turns out. Okay, so I kind of let my base coat dry. I got uh, kind of a dark brown, a dark green, which I don't have very much left of that. And then I have this tan khaki color here. So I'm going to try to mix and match these here, just kind of do a little bit of striping, see how it turns out. I can't find my netting right now to kind of get some spotted effects, so I'm just going to try some stripes and uh, see how that turns out. So here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, so I kind of striped it. I'm not sure how well you can see it from there, but I managed to get both sides of it. So I'm going to let it dry for a bit, and uh, then we will take the tape off and take a look at it and see how it turns out. I'm liking how this is looking so far. Uh, real curious to see when it finally dries. So, here it is. That's how it turned out. The magazine was some magazine that I had used earlier to paint. But uh, honestly, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, it's going to cure here over the next 24 hours. But I'm really liking this kind of tiger stripe-ish something pattern uh, a lot. This one worked out. You know, every time you paint something, it's kind of an experiment. And uh, this is my second, I think it's my second gun that I painted. Probably like fourth or maybe, maybe even fifth item that I painted. I painted a backpack, I painted a plate carrier. Um, and I'm, I'm starting to kind of get a feel for what I what I like and how I want to paint it and what I want to do and what I'm, what I'm able to do, what I'm able to accomplish. So um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. I'm, I'm gonna like it. I think it'll be a real fun gun. Just a reminder, uh, why do we paint guns or gear or anything? It's the same reason that we camouflage anything. Uh, guns, when they're all black, actually stick out. It's a very clear, defined outline. Right, especially if you're in some kind of wooded environment or whatever, uh, it's it's a lot easier to pick up with the human eye than something like this. Right, a camouflage or a paint job on a rifle breaks up the pattern and the outline of the gun, and therefore uh, camouflages it. That's that's one one of the things that camouflage does. Right, shape, shine, shimmer, uh, size. Can't remember what the other ones are. Right, a silhouette, uh, but. Some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. Don't, don't worry about it. Point is, is that those are those are things that we need to break up and, and camouflage and things that camouflage breaks up. So super excited to kind of see how this wears, get a little little battle hardened use on it, and uh, see how it how it looks. But uh, we paint guns, like I said, not primarily because it's cool. Although let's be honest, I'm really proud of this. It is cool, uh, but because it breaks up the outline of the gun. So I'm gonna actually run this gun a little bit. I got some ideas for a video on this gun that I wanna do later down the line. But until then, here's a paint job. Uh, hope that this inspires you to go out and paint your rifle because you should paint that sucker. Do brave deeds and endure.